if a building is designed and built without enough resilience to be able to resist the rapid spread of fire and smoke, can it really be considered sustainable? I always think of sustainability as being intimately related to our capability to calculate. Buildings are intended for occupation. And occupation means that the health and safety of the people in the building should be a primary consideration. So for the engineers trying to assess the probable safety of a building, it just gets very difficult to do. Basically, all that it requires is our acceptance by faith that if we meet the criteria of prescription, then we must be safe. It is a regulatory uh, concept. You know, you pass, you fail the test, but you never know how good you're doing and how good in a comprehensive way. So if you're going to create a mechanism to reward people, you have to be able to establish a mechanism to quantify performance. That design really needs to be tested rigorously for potential performance in the event of a fire. We can find design points where we actually can optimize how much we should protect in order to have a low uh, environmental impact. And then we have to combine that with our other objectives, such as costs and aesthetics. Fires can be minor or can be very significant. The impact of a very significant to uh, the environment, the economy and the people. We've made a credible case for fire safety being included as an integral part of sustainability and being a priority item in the design of our future built environment. We get joined up thinking we'll have a much safer environment.